Hello again friends, Johnny here. Um, I usually kind of alternate games every other day or so, but I really, really like Firewatch and I want to keep playing it because it's fun. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Okay, um, I already forgot the controls. It's R to run, I know that. Where was I supposed to be going after this? Uh, let's just... R to run. Let's just sprint through here. I keep wanting to hit shift to run, and that's just, that's messing me up so bad. It's so weird that they picked... A bit of a confession to make. You really are. What is it? Um, a husband killer. Look, I was I was drunk last night when I woke up new to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. <laughs> I know. Right? I just I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. That's yeah, all right. It's fine. I'll, I'll I'll keep that sort of a thing to uh to a minimum. Nah, it's all right. Anyway, you can keep let annoying. me know when you get back to your lookout. Um, yeah. How how do I get back to my lookout? Oh. Hey, I heard some thunder. Thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning. It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. I got hit by <laughs> lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not gonna strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning <laughs> seven times. That's it? Just seven? The sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What? What killed him? Suicide. Oh. Jeez. Hey, I bet this is one, two, three, four. Oh, who would have thought? All right, what's in this one? Uh, let's see, I can copy the information. I don't know what it updated. That's a deer thing. Flashlight. That might actually come in. Oh, but it's dead. Ah. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. F to toggle flashlight. Awesome. Um, anything else in here? Deer horn. There's a horn or an antler or whatever. Well are made of bone and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails gross i guess this is a bone antler a ranger must have <laughs> all right so let's drop that i like how i can't lock it it just stays hello what's in this cave down here in thunder canyon thunder canyon hey I didn't name it. Who did? In the cave? I don't know. Rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... Hello? <laughs> Anybody home? This cave is gated off. Boo. It stops spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Oh, That's too bad. I used to go caving in Colorado a lot with someone. It would be really nice to pick that back up. Fond memories, huh? Big time. I'll, uh, I'll keep an eye out for those keys. Don't hold your breath. Ooh, I wanted to go inside the cave. <laughs> I bless the rings down in Africa! <laughs> Oh, I can play with it again. Oh. Nothing? Whatever. What does this lead? Let's take it. <laughs> Made it. Jackpot. Man, I wish I could have had those keys. I wanted to explore that place. I bet they're down there somewhere and I'm just stupid and missed them because I'm pretty dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Um, whoa. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? Nope. I I don't think so. Henry, there's there's something I something someone should have told you about this area. What? What is it? It's outside. What's outside? The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. 
<laughs> she had me actually nervous. What a jerk. And let's climb up here. Oh, up, up, up. Oh, I'm a mountain man. My big old burly hands. And I think a beard. I have to imagine I got a beard. A big old manly beard. Oh boy. That pooped both of us. Oh! Oh! Well. You broke that sign. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything <laughs> for the service. <laughs> Thank you. Anytime. Great, now they're going to let people go through there and a bunch of people are going to die and it's going to be all my fault. I mean, all Henry's fault. I didn't tell him to say that, so. Wait, did this lead to my, my tower just that easily? I can report my outhouse. Wait, they won't let me. There he goes. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go <laughs> wherever you want. Well, number one at least. I can go wherever and, I want, uh, whenever I want. Disclosure. I pee wherever I want as well. Ooh. Ah! ah. Oh, ha, ha. You're coming with me! Um... I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. <laughs> Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. <laughs> yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. Nerd. The shrink would have a field day with you. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> um. What kind of name is Forrest Burns anyway? The Let worst kind of name. Hank. No, that's not a putt. That's horrible. I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? <laughs> Butts. Butts. <laughs> I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. Well, Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. Flo. <laughs> Flo Butts. Oh, I didn't even catch that. Yeah, well, it's still better than Forrest Burns. <laughs> so this generator is all the power I've got out here. Oh, I just shoved yeah, him in there. It doesn't go through much gas. And, well. Well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so. Oh, my hair dryer. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I wish I, I could pull off never. frizzy locks. Well, I mean, I jammed him in there. He's stuck. Oh, he is really stuck. Um. Uh, there I we go. I like I'm going to be murdered when I'm in the outhouse. Feeling a little exposed, are we? Hey, no man in the history of the world has felt tough with his pants around his ankles. <laughs> well, be strong. You can always call if you're having trouble. Ooh, sure, I'll do that. <laughs> can I throw this in the toilet? Ah, wait, let's try again. Yeah! I did it. All right, Burns, you're coming with me. We got to go to bed. It's getting late. Um, let's see, is there anything else down here that I need to mess with tonight? I don't think so. I haven't seen any creepy people. What's my typewriter doing out here? Uh, what can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. What? You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell? You should get inside. No, I should. Not me. I should not get inside. <sighs> All right, Burns. I'm coming back for you later. Wait, him to read map? Why would I read the map again? I can't read the map. I've got this in my hand. Wow, they messed my place all up. They broke the window. Someone broke in. They what? They just they wrecked the place. Threw what my typewriter dick. out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit! Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Oh, they messed my place all up. Look at this place. What the heck? The place is trashed. Okay, I put in a call. 
Well, what can they do about it? W will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five-0. <laughs> do you have any idea who would have done this? Um... I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. <laughs> well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, oh. and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some... What, Throw it. Campers? <laughs> fuck you, Julia. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep Where's a list what? of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I'm a manly man. Don't worry about it. With my beard. Perfect. Keep that attitude up, and you'll have an excellent summer. I'm already having an excellent summer. I'm out in the woods. Oh, well, I was gonna go get four burns. Forest burns. What? I don't remember his name anymore. Ah, sipping my cup of joe. Oh, my joe. Um. Hey, wake up. I'm awake. Fuck. Chill out. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Yeah. Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing You're cut out, off. and that's not working either. I don't want to talk to any of them. I don't really know why that would be the case. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. Huh. <laughs> so, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down oh, there's the whiskey. get a hold of a ranger, and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna wanna go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. But it was locked. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. <laughs> but thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it okay. does. All right. He's so bitter. Hey, Forrester Burns, you're still out here. Time out, guys. We gotta put it. Oh, I threw him again. No, come back. Come here, you. All right, here. You can have the bed while I'm gone. Close enough. Close enough, Forrester Burns. All right, don't do anything crazy while I'm gone. I know how much whiskey I put in that bottle. North it is. She said through that canyon? Or is that cave? What'd she say? All right, let's... Oh, God, that looks like a big drop that would mess up my ankles really bad. Thank God I'm Henry and not Johnny. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Well, you're wearing shorts not and a bad. short sleeve shirt. Thumbs up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? No. Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Um. Uh, you know. Boring if you don't ski. We used to go to this bar called the Dollar, though. I love that place. Oh, wait, is that down on Pearl? They have all the money pinned to the ceiling? Yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> I love that bar. But why don't you go anymore? I took this job. Oh, <laughs> duh. <laughs> hey, can you hold on a second? Silly me. Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Heyo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Why what? Who's she talking to? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. Any idea? I'm absolutely sure. Uh? What are you talking about? Did you? What or what? Alright, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. What was that about? Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, if there's anyone or anything you want to talk about, fire away. Mm. Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. 
Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why I is my business. Out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. I see the lines. I guess I'm going the right way, but I want to see what this is real fast. And you guys are just gonna have to bear with me while I do that. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, <laughs> you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, <laughs> I'm in the right area? I do believe, uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Okay. Hey, look at this creepy building. Let's go there. That's a good idea, right? Oh, look, a thingy. Supply thingy. Open it. One, two, three, four. Ah, I would have never solved it. Oh, hey, a hat. Huh. Found an old hat from a Korean war vet. You'd be surprised how many former service members take this gig. That's so, interesting. Makes sense. I imagine if you've been through war, you probably can't get enough silence. <laughs> that sounds true. I'm going to put it on. Boop. I have a hat now. Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay, then. Oh. Well, this looks dangerous, huh? I can see why this would... Oh, a cellar. Oh, creepy. I don't need that. It's broken. That's broken. That's broken. All oh, that's broken. Oh, nothing in there. All oh, this is broken. Broken, broken. Oh, this place was useless. Oh, wait. There's a piece of paper. I'm stuck. Okay. Now I'm not stuck. Ah, uh, that's nothing. Whatever. Let's get out of this place. This place gives me the creeps. Hey, there's another supply cache over there, it looks like. Open. One, two, three, four. Boop. All right. Let's see. We'll copy this information. Hey, there's a note. Um, I guess I can report it. Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? Good question. Yeah, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and <laughs> getting looted. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Polaroid. Oh my god. Um, let's see. 7.30.86. Dave, hey oh, I got your note about needing to talk, and sorry I didn't t uh, track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. We're co-workers, you know. Amigos. Professionals. But if you need someone to throw back a case with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I'm not great with the life stuff, you get it? Later on, Ron. Boo. Uh, what else is in here? Board? Drop that. What is this? Six feet down under. Well, that sounds like a threat. Anything else? No, it's pine cones. Whatever. Whoops. Oh, I broke the game. You know what we do when we break the game? We just keep on trucking. Beer cans. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before. Yep. These fucking kids. <sighs> Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Why would they tear down the communication stuff? That doesn't... Long drop. Smack. Well, I hopped down a drop, and now I can't climb back up. Whoops. Mm, that is a pickle. A dilly of a pickle. I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Hmm. How adventurous of you. I've been doing a lot more climbing out here than I expected. 
Oh, boo hoo. Well, keep your radio charged. I'd hate to one day find a skeleton with an orange backpack at the bottom of a ravine. Can't pick that one up. I guess that one's just uh, doomed. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. That's actually good to hear. I can send someone out to fix it. Good find. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. What does that say? I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Why do they, they realize cut it? this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? Ooh, God she's forbid, getting there's mad. There's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. Yeah, we're gonna then fuck what? them up. I, I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. <laughs> Ooh, I'm down. Oh yeah. Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I That's their underwear. Just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, Works make for me. Ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> but they I'll might die it. if I do that. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <laughs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by oh my God. back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. Uh. <sighs> Great. See if you can find the I want to see if I can like talk about these panties that they go to hell on them. Around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Teenagers, man. Oh, I couldn't. I just wasted all this time and I couldn't even do anything about it. And down we go. Uh, I guess I'll report it. I gotta tell you, all this climbing and jumping, it's pretty invigorating. Supply drop. Just wait the rest of the summer when you'll be sitting on your fat ass 14 hours a day. She just called me fat. There's a supply drop out here. I'm gonna go grab it. Oh, wow, that's a big supply cache. Or at least it looks like it's huge. One, two, three. Watch this one not work. Four. Oh, well, no, it worked perfectly. Two forks, moss, peak, spruce. There's nothing in here. That was useless. Oh, hello. There's a backpack over there. Oh boy. I made it. There's an abandoned pack out here. Oh. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Oh. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. I could, couldn't I? Boop. Blah. Brian Goodwin. Who's Brian Goodwin? Oh, camera. Got a camera. Got some. Well, I am flush with ropes now. Rope and that some camera. Was full of them, in decent condition too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up. I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. Yeah. With pictures left. Yeah, he only used three or four. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, Thank you. Wait, who? Uh oh. The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Well, that's not good, right? Was he a ranger or something? Oh, no, no. Who was he? He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three oh. summers ago. Great kid. Oh. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. What, they couldn't uh, handle your unique brand of charm? <laughs> not many can. Unsurprising. Oh, I gotta anyway, use the rope hook. Really? So goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. What's a photodome? No, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. What's that out there? Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Oh crap, I went the wrong way. Leave it to me to not know how to climb down. There we go. We're making it. We're making it. Ah, uh, see, I believed in us. Saving. What is that out there? Do you see that? It looks like fire. There we go. I see a really thin plume of smoke. 
Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Ah. Campfire. You, you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Ah. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Will do. Oh, <laughs> we said the same thing because we're like brothers. Ah, damn it. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Rock the cash box. The Rock the cash anywhere? box. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature piece by piece. Creepy. What's this note say? Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? Uh, I'm having problems reading this. Oh, are you kidding me? Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve. It's your man Ron. I went up to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talk about talking to himself more than usual for Elos. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that ham? Ugh. I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to, De to Deb at the spot. Ron. I can keep these? Whoops. Probably should have been keeping them. Hey. Sorry about snapping at you earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought about it, and... Yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Mm-hmm. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. Mm -hmm. Trust me, I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? Oh. I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of a I got liar. stuck on a tree. I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and there we go. I like companionship as much as the next person. But why does it have to come from the same person for your whole life? My Aunt Kathy was married to the same guy for four decades, and when he died, she found out he'd been having an affair with a real estate broker for 15 years. Whereas my Aunt Judy traveled the world dating artists and musicians as she saw fit. Call me crazy, but I'd rather spend a week in bed with Sonny Bono than half a lifetime with some cheating stockbroker. I'm actually married. But you're here. I didn't mean to say that. Well, looks like I might have lost you. You could be Whoops. down in one of those valleys. Call me if you need anything. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Flapjack. Flapjack. You know, like a loser, a chotch. Chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're in a and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. <laughs> I'm gonna call somebody a flapjack next time. Hey. Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? <laughs> it's beautiful. I'm using that as my next insult when I get in a fight, which will be never because I'm too afraid to get in a fight. But if the situation ever arises. What's this? A turtle? Whoa, I, uh, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. I want it. Well, isn't that something? It's actually pretty Oh! Cool. Well, Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. Now, what do I call it? Looks like a, uh, hmm. Oh, this ought to be good. Turt Reynolds! Uh. Mayhem, Mayhem Jr. Jr. That is peculiar. It has sentimental value. I'm just tearing the turtle with me. Come on, Mayhem Jr. We're gonna be buddies. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here. That's cool. Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are Interesting. Lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? No. I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. Um, how do I get around all of this? I take it you fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort? When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here? Um... I saw the job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck. 
What the heck? What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. Better go spend what's left of it in utter loneliness. <laughs> Sounds like my uh, kind of life. Something like that. Now, thanks to last summer, the bump in Forest Service budget actually allowed for us to advertise for the job. Glad it worked. Whoa. What happened last summer that accounted for this um, windfall? Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground. Ring a bell? No. <sighs> Yellowstone is like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they is do that? Is it really? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. What? So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. <laughs> and what the hell's he going to do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the Gipper? Smoke one out for the who? Oh, I should reply. I can't reply. But hey, Ugh, I got darn it. Cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. Like the goddamn park can burn down again. I think I need to go. I think I need to go down here. One, two, three, four. How many acres still missing in the Shoshone? Shoshone. None, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area, the thoroughfare Mitch because Michaels. it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It looks like me. me. Thinking that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. Um, what grizzlies won't kill me? <laughs> they don't have a taste for unapologetic pricks. Nope, it's why we haven't lost a ranger in 11 years. So, you don't think anything bad happened to those guys? Yeah, I guess it's possible, but we usually find evidence of stuff like that. For instance, if you were to be hunted down and torn to shreds, I'm sure someone would come across a bloody beard and shred a pair of ugly cargo shorts. <laughs> I like jerk. your shorts. I'm sure you do, Henry. Cargo shorts are the best shorts. Hey, I think I just found something. Other than the waterfall. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Crap of fabric. Even those girls love a skinny dipping. I bet they're nearby. Let's see. I. F this is about to get. Oh. There's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. I think I just figured out what's going on. Oh, man. Those girls are either eaten or were found by that one creepy guy. And that's the whole point to this mystery. Ah, here we go. I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a <laughs> fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. <laughs> it's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Ah, found my sheets. I don't so want them anymore. Break into your tower. Looks like. It looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. Hey, a note. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um, I don't know. It sounds crazy, but even a bull elk, if it's off its rocker. What's a bull elk? Whatever did it did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. All right, took some pictures. What's the note say? Um, dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake. 
and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and, so, and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks dick with a heart. I should probably really read. Well, oh, they're gone for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? There we go. Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? No, well, hey, I didn't do this. <laughs> okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. <laughs> yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. This is I didn't know that would come back to bite me in the ass. Hell, but it wasn't me. It's it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But <laughs> they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. All right. Oh, day three is over. Cool, it's not gonna make me run all the way back. That's great. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying watching me play this game. Um, I'm really liking it. It's really interesting. I can see how the mystery is gonna slowly start building up, maybe. Uh, it's supposed to be a mystery game. I'm still really enjoying it either way. Uh, if you guys are enjoying it, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think or if I'm missing anything. Um, if you like the video, please feel free to give it a like. And if you like me, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single day, one at 10 a.m. CST and one at 12 p.m. CST, so you'll always have new content from me. Until then, stay tuned for my next video. Bye!